Uh, welcome back. You were talked today, 10 to 9. Now, almost half of millennials ah, fear their parents are fritting away their inheritance and should be helping them with buying a property. That's according to a new survey by one of Europe's largest wealth management companies, Money Farm Breeze, so, Kyle. <gasps> do they have a point? Well, broadcaster Nikki Hodgson, who believes parents should have the freedom to choose what to do with their money. Meanwhile, political commentator Alex uh. Petropoulos thinks that youngsters deserve financial help because of current circumstances. Alex, I'm going to start with you. Why do you think that young people are entitled to their parents' money? So for me, it's all about looking at where a lot of this inheritance wealth comes from. And if you look carefully, you find that a lot of the vast majority of inheritance wealth actually comes from home ownership and from housing. And what we've seen is that house prices have been rising over the last 30 years. They've gone from 100,000 in 95 to 400,000 just for a flat in London. And the people who've been paying the burden for this increased house prices are young people like myself. So we've essentially been funding these inheritances as a generation. Young people have essentially been throwing away large chunks of our wages, throwing away large chunks of our discretionary spending towards funding inheritances like these. Now, I think it's reasonable to say that we're entitled to a part of it. Maybe not all of it. We're not asking for all, but a chunk, I think. I see your point, Nikki, bef quickly before Jeremy has a heart attack. I'm not convinced he hasn't already. Um, uh, when I first read this story, I was outraged. But actually, I think that Alex qu makes quite a few salient points there, doesn't he? Hasn't the millennial generation been paying for the baby boomers? Oh, well, that, God. I mean, that, that is one way of looking at it. But I actually think our parents have worked really hard. You know, OK, maybe they had some things easy. Maybe it was easier to get a mortgage. Oh, yeah, it was easier in the Second World War, wasn't it? Do me a favour, honest to God. I, it's true. Honestly, you entitled <laughs> young man. Go and earn your own money. Go on, Nikki. <laughs> no, I was just saying, I mean, my, me and my mum actually talk about this quite a lot because I've actually asked her to give my inheritance to my daughter because I'm actually a bit of a spendthrift and I get through money like nobody's business. So I don't want her to leave it to me. I'd rather it be safe for my daughter. Um, and I think that's a really sensible thing to do. My dad died about 10 years ago and he left me a little bit of money, which I ended up using because I had a mental health crisis. So even if you do inherit something, uh, it doesn't mean that you're going to be able to do anything with it. Um, so, on a, on, a serious, I, you know, on a serious note, I think there are two things, actually. And, and Alex, I don't agree with you, but that's the essence of debate. I, I, I'm old fashioned and I think my father, before he died, had an amount of money. And quite rightly, with my encouragement, he wanted to go to a five star old people's home where he had four amazing years chasing old women around, having lovely meals and enjoying himself. And that made me very happy. OK. And I understand the yeah. people will say my parents scrimped and saved. What's happening with inheritance tax and stuff like that is a lot of people, a couple of messages this morning, we're giving our boys an amount of money each now, says George, not when they're 50s and 60s, when they need it now. I take that point, Alex, but if it comes out as you're frittering away our inheritance, there, there can be no child in the world who should be able to say, I am entitled to that money. If your parents wish to donate, give, I get that. But uh, I, you're going to say it's a lot more difficult for people nowadays. Try saying that to my mother who did her homework at an air raid shelter in the Second World War. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get so far. But I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, and, and, you know, I think that when you look at things on an individual level, maybe it looks a bit less fair. Yeah. I agree that on an individual level, I don't think any individual is entitled to say, I want this very specific thing from my parents, from my grandparents. But I think on a generational level, there is a much stronger argument to be made that there is this generational inequality and you're essentially seeing a transfer of wealth from the younger generation to the older generation. And I think what you really have to look at is you have to say, feel like things suck right now. Yeah. They suck for everyone, but they suck especially for young people. And how can, what can we do to fix the root cause of the problem, house prices, so that in 10 years things are better? But also what can we do to make things easier across those next 10 years for young people so that you sort of smooth out that curve for everyone. Alex, I have to ask, are your, are your parents still alive? Are they still with us? Yes, yes. Have you had this conversation with them? I, I, had, a, I had a little chat with them last night about this, this topic. And, and they had today some you're opinion. homeless. You're phoning us from a hostel, no doubt, yes? <laughs> <laughs> they Let me read what, what did they think about it? What, what was their response when you spoke to them about I this think topic? They, they agreed that, you know, the, the sense of entitlement, uh, this entitlement argument, no one should be entitled to, to anything. I don't think old people should be entitled 
to stealing money from young people by essentially getting lucky and buying houses when they happen wow. to be cheap. Wow. Let me, read, to... let me read you some comments. Graham, welcome to 2024. These kids are ludicrous. Joe, if your parents leave you anything, be grateful. They don't have to. It's their money to spend as they wish. You're not entitled to any of it. Eric, selfish to think their parents will scrimp and save in their twilight years so their damn kids can go on luxury holidays just when they die. Nikki? Yeah, I mean, I've got to say, I'd rather my mum have her money for her, spend it on a really good retirement, which she's just going into now. And also, I don't want to care for her, and we've had that conversation as yeah. well. And if she needs really care, good I want point. to pay for it. That's the point I made about the old man. He was lucky enough to have that money, and he yeah. had halcyon days. He really did. Yeah. So, for me, that was far more important. And you I can go, oh, well, you earned some money. But even if I, if I didn't, I... That, him. But I think both of you make a really, really good point here, which is often overlooked, is the fact that the cost of elderly person care is going to absolutely skyrocket in the UK and we don't have a plan for it. But there we go. Uh, thank you to Nikki Hodgson and Alex Petropoulos.